Hi everybody, this is Alex again from Be A Real Gamer, alongside Donnie, as always. And As today, always, that's right. Yes, and today we're going to be talking about a gaming PC. Um, we're going to be doing a build Wait, wait, video. wait, we're talking about a gaming PC? Since when did we do that, right? I we thought know. we were here to talk about uh, the Billboard Music Awards. Michael I Jackson, was, man. I mean, I was going to talk about Little John before we. I thought about a PC, uh, you know, a gaming PC. Oh, you're trying to get turned up to death? I mean, you know, pretty much. Uh, moving on. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, basically, uh, we're going to do a build that in the $800 budget. This one is going to be uh, specifically for Watch Dogs. Uh, why? Because it's coming out soon. I know plenty of people want to build a high-end gaming PC that can actually play Watch Dogs at 1080p and 60 frames per second, or even better than that. I mean, you know, for most people, 1080p at 30 frames per second would be a significant upgrade over their brand new console that they just bought. Well, or you know what would be really cool? 900p at 30 frames per second. <laughs> um, this system that we're showing could definitely do that, and um, pretty much all of the builds we've shown you for the past, what, six months? Donnie uh, could be able to do the game at 900 at 60 FPS. 900p at 60 FPS. Yeah. So, um, yeah, starting with the processor, we're going to go with the AMD FX 8320. That's a 3.5 gigahertz 8-core processor. Uh, I mean, it's just a solid CPU for gaming. Um, you know, obviously it's not as fast as the i7, but for these purposes and for the price range, you know, under 150 bucks, you really can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Uh, moving on from that, we've got... Um, an MSI 970A G46 motherboard. It's like 70 bucks. Um, it's not the best motherboard, but it's a good, solid motherboard. It can overclock a little bit. Um, there's really nothing wrong with it. Um, and for the RAM, I believe it was 8 gigs of A data um, um, at 1600 megahertz. Yeah, it was A data. Yeah. Um, just a quick Maybe question so. about the processor. Um, how much is that priced exactly right now online? Um, one second. Let me just pull that up. Um, the price on the processor is one forty two ninety nine. That's at NCIX. Uh, it's worth noting though that if you live in a city that has a micro center, if you go there, you can get the processor for um, and the motherboard for about one hundred and fifty dollars in a bundle. Um, Plus tax, obviously. Uh, so, I mean, it's a much better deal. So you can save yourself a couple bucks. Um, I'd say about forty bucks, give or take. Or um, at the same point, you could spend a, a little bit more um, in store, and you could get a nicer motherboard for about the same price. You know, something along yeah. the lines of a, of a gigabyte UD3, or you know, one of those yeah. nicer. We'll, uh, we'll we'll post links down there in the description. Uh, with the Micro Center bundle, uh, so that way you guys can check that out, and you can also on their website see if you have a location. You know that's not too far from you. Mm -hmm. It's worth checking out. Um, for the hard drive, just a Western Digital Caviar Blue. Um, we spoke about this hard drive. I mean, we always recommend it, but we also spoke about it in a video that um, you should see up there now uh, with um, a friend of ours, uh, Sean Webster. Yep, Sean Webster uh, from yes. Overclock.net. He's actually the storage manager. He's also the, the I'm sorry, the storage editor. Um, yeah. He's basically the guy to talk to about anything in hard drives or SSDs. Yeah. So if you uh, ever had any questions about hard drives or SSDs, you can go over to that video. And if there's anything we didn't touch on, post it in the comments, and either one of us or Sean will you know comment back, mm -hmm. or maybe we'll do a follow-up video. But check that out. Uh, moving on though, for the case, we got a Corsair 300R. I mean, at 60 bucks, you're really not going to find a better mid-tower case, you know. Um, obviously, you can get something else if you prefer a different design, but we feel like this is a good $60 case. Um, for the power supply, we went with the XFX Pro Series 750 watt. This mm -hmm. is a gold certified power supply. It's kind of expensive. It's like 95 bucks, but I mean, it's a good power supply, and it'll allow you to be able to, you know, SLI those... Uh, your graphics cards, which um, I think I skipped over the graphics card, but we'll move on to that now. Finally, <laughs> um, probably the most important a GTX thing, but... 770, the most important part of the gaming rig. Um, it's uh, a P and Y to be exact. I believe um, 
you could get a 2EDX for about $15, $20 cheaper maybe, depending. But um, with the 770, you get a free copy of Watch Dogs. And since this is a Watch Dogs build, we figured, you know, that'd be nice. It, it, it's kind of hard to recommend a build for Watch Dogs that doesn't include Watch Dogs. I yeah, mean, and not only that, this build would be better technically for Watch Dogs just because um, the game was developed with NVIDIA graphics cards. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm not mistaken, like I'd say like 90% of the developers were uh, had GTX 670s. So a 770 is going to be able to max out that game, no problem. Uh, the only point I would recommend AMD over um, NVIDIA at this point would be in the case of you know multi monitor setups. Um, that would that would be the only purpose. Or if you were playing at twenty five sixty by fourteen forty. Yeah, yeah, fourteen forty p. The two eighty X might be a little better because it has a little more RAM. It's got three gigs instead of two. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 7, I mean, you could get the four gig version of the seven seventy, but. Those are a lot That's... more expensive. Those I, yeah. I looked tried to look at one. The, the cheapest one was like it was three seventy five. Yeah, which, which I mean, at that point really isn't worth it. You know, uh, for a little That's bit getting... more, you, you could be getting a, a two ninety an R nine two ninety. Yeah, which yeah. is going to blow that thing out of the water. Absolutely. Um, but Most yeah, uh, subtotal on this comes to um, just under eight hundred dollars at like seven eighty two. Um, it really depends on where you're at because depending on where you're at, some of these retailers might charge taxes, might not. Uh, but yeah, always a thing. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's really about it. Uh, did you have anything else to add, Alex? Um, I mean, with this thing, you know, you have some room for upgradability. But um, again, if you know you want to spend a little bit more money on the system, um, I would invest in a slightly better motherboard. If this was, you know, a nine hundred dollar build or an eight fifty. Mm -hmm. I, I'd invest in a slightly better motherboard and possibly a CPU cooler because this this chip will overclock really easily to 4.4. Yeah. 4. Yeah, you get something like either a Zygmatek Dark Knight 2 or um, for liquid cooling you can get like an H80 or an H100 or you know a Noctawa NHD uh, D14. All of those would do a pretty good job of cooling this chip and allowing you to get to you know 4, 4.5, maybe even better. Um, I mean, and even for someone who's completely new to overclocking and, you know, this is a first time build, hitting 4 gigahertz on that chip is not going to be hard at all. Um, yeah. So there will be a parts picker list in the description um, and as well as the uh, Micro Center Bundle uh, link. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, guys. And...